Hello, dear friends. What is poetry? Are you asking me that? You are poetry. Gustavo Adolfo Becker. Opinion piece. What is truth? Trust no one. The truth is you. Skeptical humility. Don't fall for the savers. Great truths and nonsense. The million dollar question. We are in a very sensitive period. Attacks on the missionaries of light. The dark side is in emergency attack. Internet blackout in 10 African countries, or 12 African countries. Listen to everyone without following anyone. Let's start. What is truth? That is the famous question that Pontius Pilate asked Jesus of Nazareth. The importance of this question lies in its philosophical and existential transcendence, since truth is a fundamental concept in human life and in the search for meaning. Various interpretations and reflections have emerged around this question, highlighting the need for truth to live authentically and the dire consequences of ignoring it. It is better to speak a truth that, that hurts and heals than to speak a lie that comforts and kills. But the truth is a diamond with many faces. The truth is the truth whether Armagnum or his Swineherd say it. Dick's expression highlights the universality of truth, regardless of who pronounces it, based on the characters of Agamemnon and his Swineherd in Greek mythology. It underlines the idea that truth is independent of money social position or authority of the speaker, highlighting the intrinsic nature of truth is their health. How many times have we have to keep quiet about to avoid the brawl? How many times we have to agree with our boss so as to not to lose our job? The search. All of us seekers of truth have spent our lives going from one place to another until in the end we have ended up tired and dicey from searching so much. First we look at external official religion and find it full of fear and meaningless. Every time you worship a real or, you, or imagined external being, you are giving away your energy, delegating your sovereignty and giving up your inner power. The church condemns magic, but the mass is a set of spells and a symbolic rite copied from rituals where the act is not symbolic. As blood rituals such as bullfighting are all blood rituals such as bullfighting are black magic. Therefore, I came to the conclusion that this rite was not invented by Jesus, but by the dark side following its own but softened scatological customs. The master did not perform rituals, but rather he went to meditate in the desert like a hermit. On the contrary, the master made decrees of the I am, such as I am the way, the truth and the life. When then we try to look for the truth in politics, in some political party that promised gold and more, and more, gold and more, and more, as we say it here. And we were even moved by the tenderness of the leader. But then he ended up sold out like everyone else, and the party became a corrupt mafia. Dot. In the end, I realized that there were no ideals among theater leaders but only among followers, and that the only thing that mattered was power, prestige, and money. That is why I renounced Satan, his pomps, and his glories. Then I looked for the truth in spiritual leaders and in some sect. I realized that many leaders are good people. They have a golden beak and have written excellent books, but in the end, I see them stuck in their evolution. I don't know if because of the cultivation of personal importance, or because of the pride that their followers, or by the social prestige they have achieved. 
I do not want to fall into that. And that is why I do not present myself as a teacher, but as a student, although all searchers have both things at the same time. It is better not to talk about the groups since most are a nightmare in which they try to steal your personal identity, saying that you have a lot of ego and where there is no room for dissent. I have come to the conclusion that the groups are infiltrated by darkness, and that is why the only purity can be found in the solitude of the hermit, if you not, do not deceive yourself. Trips. Then I searched for the truth of my trips to India, Nepal and Sikkim, following the trail of pilgrimage to the sources by Lanza del Basto, the philosophy of the great yogis and lamas by my teacher Ramiro Calle, and the trips of Fernando Sánchez Dragó. But the trips are very tiring and expensive. Misery is abundant in those countries, and they frequently deceive you. Furthermore, when you live with other cultures, misunderstandings frequently occur, especially in Arab countries, which are very susceptible to being offended by trivial things. Then I looked for the truth in books, and there we came to the most complicated part, because esoteric culture is a labyrinth in which you can't get lost very easily. There are very interesting books, but most of them are unsmokable pieces. For example, the last thing I studied is Grigory Grabovoy's theory of immortality based on the perception of key numbers. And no one understands comma because they are very ambiguous metaphysical concepts, but I will continue studying it. In the end, I have realized that external cults have a trick, that is, that you are not worshipping a pious image, but the archon who hides behind the image. The only thing you can trust is yourself, your inner God, and even then you can deceive yourself. There are those who say that I look like Ramana Maharshi saving the distance, but I do not pretend to be anyone else but myself. The only way to avoid this trap is what I call skeptical hum humility attitude. That is, not, that is not trusting even your own thoughts, which can be induced by an external entity but only trusting what you feel in your heart. If you don't follow anyone, because I don't follow anyone, because I don't trust anyone, nor my own thoughts, but I listen to all opinions with interest and reflect on them. There are great truths and great nonsense. Don't fall for the savers of private contact. Galactic cleaning. According to Gobra, the underground networks of African and Indians, as well as the remains of the decent complex, both in the solar system and below the surface of this planet, has been completely eliminated. In his opinion, the darkness is mad because most of its presence in the solar system has disappeared. What now remains to be cleared beyond the surface is an ancient Atlantean network that was partially established on this planet with the arrival of the Orion Lodge about 900,000 years ago and was completed 26,000 years ago when planet Earth went into quarantine. This network was fully operational until the fall of Atlantis and then went underground, only occasionally manipulating events on the surface. Now this network has been activated again like all other dark networks beyond the surface. Excuse me. Radio silence. Silence. Most of the information about this network should remain classified by now, except by the fact that they have bases throughout the solar system and beneath the surface of this planet, similar to the previous networks that were just erased. We have entered a very sensitive period and all information regarding to the cleanup of this network must remain classified for now and the period of radio silence must begin. 
this network is not executing attacks against, is now executing attack against missionaries of light on the non-physical planes. And the forces of light are doing everything possible to minimize the impact of those attacks. In the few days leading up to the upcoming penumbral lunar eclipse of March 25, people should protect themselves as much as possible and refrain from reacting to negativity. At the time of the lunar eclipse of March 25th, there will be a reinforcement of meditation for the main solar eclipse meditation on April 8th. Battles. Some of the battles prior to the final elimination have come to the surface. The military junta of the Republic of Guinea has dissolved the government and sealed the borders. The announcement was made through the, a presidential decree read on Monday in the state television by the General Secretary of the Presidency, Brigadier General Amara Camara. Ministers of the dissolved government were ordered to hand over their passports and official vehicles. In addition, their bank accounts have been frozen. The junta also ordered security agencies to seal up all of the country's borders until government ministries have been fully handed over to the junta. Lower level officials will temporarily manage state ministries until a new government is named, Camera said. The Republic of Guinea and other African countries have been affected by coups d'etat in recent years. Others include Mali, Burkina Faso, Niger and Gabon. The coups have been strongly condemned by the West African Regional Bloc, as well as the African Union and the UN. Guinea is expected to hold elections to restore democratic government in 10 months, when the 24-month transition period set by the junta expires. Internet blackout. Internet interruption affects several African countries due to the failure of submarine cables. A dozen African countries suffered a major internet outage on Thursday, when several undersea telecommunication cables were cut. Network operators and internet monitoring groups said, MTN Group, one of the Africa's largest network providers, said the current outages were the result of failures in multiple major undersea cables. In quote, our operations are actively working to divert traffic via alternative network routes, the South African company said in a statement. In recent years, there have been disruptions to Africa's network caused by cable damage. However, the current outage points to something bigger, and this is one of the most serious cases, said Isik Mater, research director of NetBlocks, a group that documents internet outages around the world. There are fears of a disruption of essential services in the most affected countries, such as Ivory Coast. Dot. Africa leads the world in mobile web traffic, and many of the continent's businesses rely on the internet to serve their customers. Namibia and Lesotho were also affected. Internet analytics firm Cloudflare reported a pattern in the timing of outages that affected at least 10 West African countries, including Ivory Coast, Liberia, Benin, Ghana, and Burkina Faso. Vodacom, South Africa's mobile operator, also reported intermittent connectivity issues due to multiple faults in undersea cables. And that's all for today. Thanks a lot, dear friends.